Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to inspect ignition coil. We'll be using a multimeter test in order to see operation of this ignition coil. Well, in this ignition coil, as you know, there are two coils. The primary coil, which begins from the positive terminal or terminal 50, and then comes out through terminal 1. That will be the primary winding. And the secondary winding that begins at terminal 50 and comes out at the center terminal, or known as terminal 4. It is designated right here. You can see there is a plus mark right here. This is positive, coming from the ignition switch. And right here we have the ignition coil negative, which goes to the distributor. And in the middle right here we have terminal 4, the center terminal. This can be sometimes named as terminal 50, 1, 5. See it right here, it is called terminal 50 from ignition IG terminal. And this one is called terminal 1, which goes to the distributor. Now, in order to inspect operation of this ignition coil, all you need is a multimeter. We have a multimeter, have this kind of multimeter and in order to inspect the primary winding, first select the ohms reading. Now, this type of multimeter, it will have automatic range adjuster. But if you have this kind of multimeter where you have to select the range by yourself, put it on the lowest reading. For example, put it on 200 ohms. Because on the primary, we'll be expecting less than 5 ohm resistance on the primary winding. So it's a good idea to put it on the lower resistance rating, which is 200 ohm for this particular case. Then, once the voltmeter is put on that value, then simply measure the resistance between the two terminals, terminal 50 and terminal 1. As you can see, for this particular ignition coil, it is reading 3.3 ohm. 3.3 ohm. Specification for this kind of resistance on the primary side is usually from 2 up to 5 ohm. We have found 3.3 ohm on the primary, which indicates that the primary winding is good. Now, the second test will be the secondary test, secondary winding resistance. In order to measure the secondary winding, if you are using a self-adjusting multimeter of this kind, it's very easy, simply place one terminal on terminal 50 and the other on terminal 4, which is the center terminal. Then you can read the reading. For example, for this particular ignition coil, it is reading 8 kilo ohm. We'll be expecting somewhere from 5, I mean somewhere from 7 to 15 kilo ohm on the secondary of this type of ignition coil. But if you are using this type of multimeter, where you have to select the range, put it on 20. It's a good idea to put it on 20 kilo ohm because we are expecting somewhere from 7 to 15 kilo ohm resistance on the secondary winding. Put your range on 20 kilo ohm if you are using this type of multimeter. For the primary, you will be using the lowest. For the secondary, it's best to put it on 20 kilo ohm because expected reading is between 7 and 15 kilo ohm. So 20 kilo ohm range will be selected. Now for this particular uh, ignition coil, we have found it has read 8 kilo ohm, which is within the specification. And then, finally, the third test that we are going to do is insulation test. We will be checking if these terminals, if these coils are grounding somewhere. That can be done by simply putting your multimeter read on one terminal and then putting it on, putting the other terminal on the housing. It should read infinity. As you can see right here, it is reading infinity. No reading. No reading here also. No reading. No reading. Even if I put it on terminal 4, there is no reading, which indicates that the ignition coil coils are not grounding on the housing. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding how to inspect ignition coil 
by using a multimeter. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe. So when using this type of multimeter for primary test, select the lowest resistance value. Let's put it on 200 ohm, for example. Put it on 200 ohms. Then connect your leads to the terminals of the primary winding. One put it on ignition coil positive, and the other put it on ignition coil negative. See, it is reading 3 ohm. 2.9, 3 ohm, somewhere around that is acceptable. It is acceptable if the resistance value of the primary winding for this type of ignition coil ranges between 2 up to 5 ohm. So for this particular one, it is reading 2.9 ohm. It indicates that the primary winding is in good shape. In order to select the secondary winding resistance, in order to do secondary winding resistance, as we have mentioned, you should put it on 20 kilo ohm because we'll be expecting somewhere from 7 to 15 kilo ohm of resistance for the secondary winding. Put the selector knob on 20 kilo ohm for reading the secondary winding. The secondary winding can be read by simply placing one probe in the center terminal, which is terminal four, and put the other probe on either the primary or the secondary. Right here, it, re it reads eight kilo ohm. You see, it is reading eight kilo ohm. And you can also put it in vice versa. Put this one in here and put this in here. Same result, it will have same result. Reshuffling between positive and negative ignition coil terminal will not have significant difference when reading resistance of the secondary winding. It is reading now eight kilo ohm in both directions. So this is how you can read the secondary winding resistance. Now, if you want to read the insulation resistance, if this is grounded to the housing or not, put it on mega ohms. Let's put it on two mega ohms, for example. Select the range on mega ohm range, and then read between housing and one of the terminals. As you can see, it is reading infinity, so the primary is not grounded. You can do the same for the secondary. It is again reading infinity. This is how it should be. So the ignition coil winding should not be touching the housing. If it had contact, it would have registered some reading. As you can see now, there is no reading. Had, it, had there been continuity, it would have registered something like this. Now, this indicates that the ignition coil primary and secondary windings are both insulated from the housing. So this is a very simple method of testing operation of your ignition coil by using multimeter. This is a simple resistance test. By doing so, you can figure out whether there is a resistance problem or not. Now, if there is no continuity between terminal 50 and terminal 1, it means the primary winding is disconnected. There is an open circuit. If there is no continuity between terminal 50 and the center terminals, it also means that the secondary winding is disconnected. So that will result in infinity reading. If the coil is somehow an open circuit, that will result in an open circuit reading. If you are reading zero ohm between these two terminals, be very low or zero between this and the secondary, it indicates that the winding has internal short circuit. That will also require replacement of the ignition coil. So this is how you can simply read and you can re simply figure out if the ignition coil is working or not. So these are the three tests that we are going to do on an ignition coil in order to figure out if it is working or not. For your particular ignition coil, you can get the service manual and have the resistance read out. Then you can do the three tests, the primary between plus and negative of the ignition coil, the secondary between plus and uh, the center terminal, sometimes some people do it from negative to center terminal. It doesn't really cause that much difference. But the secondary test is done. And finally, you will be checking resistance of the housing between, resistance between the ignition coil and the housing. 